Week in Sports is brought to you by Wolfenstein Construction. I have to admit I'm starting to get a little antsy waiting for the upcoming high school sports seasons. Coming up first is going to be PVHS football and soccer. They start in 10 days, but football is on the road at Del Sol High School in Las Vegas, and the boys and girls soccer team are in Mesquite for a three-day soccer tournament. Volleyball and cross country don't start until September. NASCAR driver Danica Patrick was dropped by GoDaddy. They have decided not to sponsor the female driver for next season. Danica Patrick, however, is safe from having to change racing teams as she has announced that her new main sponsor will be Nature's Bakery. Patrick is thrilled to remain part of the Stuart Haas racing team for at least the near future. The May 2nd boxing match between Floyd Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao was not considered a success for most people who watched the match. The biggest grossing fight in history might lose some of that money back to the fans who claimed the fight was a fraud. Fans spent as much as $100 to watch on pay-per-view. These claims are based on the Pacquiao injury that was not revealed until after the fight, making it too late for 4.4 million viewers to decide whether it was worth it. Judge R. Gary Klossner of Southern California will decide if the cases are granted class action status before any trial will proceed. NFL hopeful long snapper Nate Boyer has been released by the Seattle Seahawks. Boyer was a 34-year-old former Green Beret who taught himself how to long snap through YouTube videos while playing for the University of Texas football team between deployments to Iraq and Afghanistan. Boyer declared for the draft but was undrafted shortly after the Seahawks signed him and have now released him to make room for another quarterback. This has been Weekend Sports. I'm Courtney Salmon with News 46.